Good day, everyone. I am Guide Nitika Rana from Kamal Convent School, and I am part of Bharat Scouts and Guides. Today, I'll be telling you about estimation, which is the topic under the Dwitya Sopan. So let's get started. So basically, what is estimation? Estimation is anything which we try and basically calculate the distance from one place to another. So in this presentation, estimation is divided into two parts, estimating distance with our hands, and second, estimating distances by knowing the length of our pace. How to estimate distances? Imagine, for example, that you are standing in the side of a hill, trying to decide how far it is to the top of a low hill on the other side of the valley. Just below the top hill is a barn, which you feel reasonably is about 100 meters on the side facing you. First step, hold one arm straight out in front of you, elbow straight, thumb pointing you, as it is shown in the figure. Second, close one eye and align one edge of your thumb with one edge of the barn. Third, without removing your head or arm, switch eyes. Now, sighting with the eye that was closed in closing the other. Basically, we need to close one eye and then uh, we need to see how it is, like how much distance it is, and then we need to try the same with the other eye. Fourth is your thumb will appear to jump sideways as a result of the change in perspective. How far did it move? Be sure to side the same edge of your thumb when you switch eyes. So basically you don't need to move your thumb. It's just that you need to switch your eyes and make it sure that it's, uh, the thumb is on your shoulder level. Next is, yeah, so we have the next slide. That is, let's say it jumped about five times the width of the barn or about 500 meters as it is shown in the figure. So with the thumb he calculated and that was five, uh, which was 500 meters. So we've actually estimated the distance through it. Six, now multiply the figure by the handy constant that is 10 the ratio of the length of your arm to the distance between your eye. This could vary, like if you have 10, it could even be 12, 11 or something like that. Seventh step is, now we get the distance between you and the bond that's 5,000 meters. So here we have estimated the distance. Next is how to estimate the distance when the length of the pace is known. First step, walk the distance you have chosen and count your pacing as you move forward. Second, when you reach the end, take note of the number and divide it by two. Third, you will then get the number of steps you take to cover 100 meters or 109 yards. Fourth, somewhere between 55 and 70 double pacing steps is normal for most people. And this is how we can estimate distances very easily. So I hope this video was helpful for all of you. Thank you.